Hey and welcome to today's video and this video is about a problem the most of us more earlier than later have and that is you have a 3D object, an object, in my case it's a microphone, a little hand microphone and I want to make a holder and not a blocky whatever holder. No, I want to make one, uh, make one uh, really, it's called a negative form. So it really fits, it doesn't wiggle, etc. It's a holder I want to make for my car that the microphone is always at the right place and easy to grab. So that's for that. Okay, the problem is how to get the exact shape, size, etc., everything into your PC, into your computer, and then, in my case, make a negative form, or maybe um, something broke. You had a holder, uh, whatever, and that broke. And yes, you can glue it, but the strength is gone, and so you have the idea to 3D scan this thing and print it on your 3D printer. So that's things I oftly done in the past. And today I want to present you a little helper I made, a 3D printed helper, of course, to the problem that you normally, if it's such an object, normally the object stands somewhere or a sculpture and you walk with your camera around the object and then at a second angle and again around the object and 3D scan this. The technique is called photogrammetry. And there is a second way that not you walk around the object, that you or the camera or the smartphone in my case stands still and the object is moving. And then you think, ah, I know what you mean. And that is a simple turntable. And that's right. I made a little turntable, really easy to print. And then you have a little helper and can concentrate on the picture side. So let me show you the hardware, my little turntable. Then we speak about the rest. And that is software arrangement of the camera, in my case a smartphone, a light, markers, what is it with markers. And then at the end I show you time lapses from parts I've printed for the turntable. So, okay, jumping right into the turntable, if you want to hear more about the software, Write it please down in the comments. This video is not about the software side. It's more about the scanner, the arrangement and tips. Yeah. And if you want to hear more about the software side, please write it down in the comments. And then I know you are interested and can make a video about the software I'm using and that is Metashape. Okay, enough for now. Let us jump into the 3D printed scanner. Okay, first the, the parts itself and it's really easy to use this. So, at my build I use a little geared motor. You can use a crank here. But for me, it's much easier. The table is turning by itself. The camera is doing photos every three to five seconds by itself. And after two and a half, four, five minutes, I come back, change the position, restart it over and over again. And after 15 minutes or so, the job is done. For the motor, of course, I made an holder. Then this orange is of course a part. And there is a little 3D printed washer on the back side with a screw. And then is the this part here and a bearing 
this big part, the stands I call them, and the smartphone holder. This is just one angle. Yes, there is a little crease uh, on the gear. So, this is a skateboard bearing. So, put it in. And the table back. I also put a little grease on top of that because it's, it's it's ribbing there. So now, now I have the grease everywhere on the finger. So I, there is my first and one of the most important things I have to tell you. Really important that your object is not moving because the microphone is round at the bottom. I use this. In German we say Knete. I think in English it is putty, I think. Everyone knows this. You have played as child with it. I hope you have played with it. Kneed. It does not stick to the actual part. Now it is a flat part. So it's moving nowhere. And the next thing you see is this little white paper here. Yes, there are markers on it. These markers make it much easier in the software to align everything. This special one is not made by me, it's created by Alex Elvis Badillo. Link is down in the description. Take a piece of neat putty, put your piece on it. It's no problem, it, this is covered here at the bottom. Later we turn it upside down. We make two parts of the scanning if it is needed. At this part it is needed. Then we cut the neat part, the putty part. We cut that away in software. Why I'm using this geared motor, it's doing the job for me. So, and uh, now let me show you the smartphone side. Picture by picture. The table is turning. So, that's the actual process to do the photos. The second pro tip, use a light from the direction your camera is looking. And I use these holders. They are normally made for GoPros. And that makes it really easy, really easy to change the angle. So that is my 3D scanner. And the third Pro tip is if you need your object, you also need the, the second side. Again, use need, look at that how nice, but use a second marker. Alex did the job for us. So put the microphone on the need again. Now it's going nowhere. It's always at the same position, arrange it. The smartphone is still doing photos. Now from the object in the other direction. That's the scanning part itself. Now we do a quick jump into the software, but really just a quick looking into it. Then we come to the final. So jump into the software. And here we are after the software and uh, yeah 
that's for this video. You have seen the, the project itself. I have showed you the, the parts, not that many. At the end of this video, I will show you a time lapse I, from the parts I printed for this one, printed in the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon Combo. If you have not seen my video about the Bamboo Lab X1, uh, it's in the playlist. It should be in the playlist or go back to my videos and click it there. To remember, first and one of the Im most important tips, use kneed or putty. You know what I mean. You have something, use it. It is really, really important that the part is not moving on the table when it is moving. I had so much problems while I only put it the part on top of the table and it was not really flat the part it was wiggling a little bit and that caused so many problems in the software use something to picture it fix it in place that it does not wiggle move at all and in, for my part the most time I use this need this putty I have showed you in the in the action part of the video so that's the first one the second one is you need light to do that I have this little LED one if I find it all links down in the description the links are affiliate links the action the software side and my pro tips okay that I hope make you the your life with 3d scanning much 3d scanning sorry much easier i hope you enjoyed it i hope you i see you in the next one and as always please give me a thumbs up follow the channel and please hit the bell it really helps the channel thanks for now and hope you enjoyed the time lapses see you in the next one bye dm4ds sandor Take care.